Greetings folks, very exciting day at Newton Airlines. This big package has arrived from Banggood. It's the Volantex Ranger 2 meter wingspan motor glider. I already have the 1600 version which has quickly become my, my favourite all round motor glider style plane. Used to be the Bixler 2, I think this is a better plane than the Bixler 2. It's bigger, can fit more batteries in, can fit more gear in. Uh, it's just better build, tougher overall. The good thing is that the wings are directly swappable with the 1600mm version. It's exactly the same fuselage, same connection system, beautiful click-in wings. Awesome. All I have to do is take the wings out of here, pop them in my 1600mm wingspan version and I'm ready to fly. I'll have to put some servos in of course. This is the kit version so there's no electronics included. Let's have a look at them anyway. So it's very neatly packed in the box, good instruction manual, different colour decal scheme and the beautiful big 2 metre wings. With the 2 metre wingspan version we get two joining spars uh, for a little bit of extra strength and all the rest of the gear is exactly the same. Now one thing about these planes, all the, all the fittings are very nice indeed. We have actual proper plastic hinges on both of these have we? Yes, we have them everywhere. Uh, flaps and ailerons. The 1600mm version doesn't have flaps. I'm going to have to free them up because they're sort of uh, fixed at the moment. But they all have proper plastic hinges as well as the sort of uh, thin foam hinge as well. We have a, a spar that goes all the way out to here. I think it's actually a metal tube that the metal joining spars fit into, making a very, very strong setup. And we have this little clip system here that uh, holds the wings in very securely into the fuselage. Lovely setup, I really like it. It works. The ailerons are reinforced with carbon fibre spars as well, uh, not, the, not the flaps, but that's not going to be a big problem. Just notice I've got a bit of a ding on the leading edge there, that's a pity. Alright, might as well just click them in straight away to show you how it works. So. Push the clip up. I'm going to make up a um, quick connect for the wings. Same on this side. So there's the 1600 millimeter wing compared to the two meter wing. Joining spars slot in, go through the holes in the fuselage. This can be a bit fiddly. Just have to line them up properly. Here we go. Just pop them in there for the moment. But here we have this clip that clips into the little catch there. We just push it in and clip, it's in. That is secured makes it so easy to disassemble it if you have to at the field. Make sure the servo wire isn't getting pinched. Bingo, we're done. They are as secure as you could want. Awesome, we're ready to go. That is a beautiful looking plane. Got to put some servos in. The motor I'm using for the 1600 millimeter version is a uh, 2836 uh, 1100 kV with the provided prop and running it on 4S and that gives beautiful performance. Power to spare, cruise around at uh, about 3 amps, 3.5, 4 amps and uh, have a really nice long flight time. Other things I really like about this model are that the servos, the tail servos are right down near the, near the tail little slots that you can screw them straight into. Really good quality, uh, decent sized control horns and we get little moulded level uh, spots on the foam to screw them in so that they're sitting nice and, and securely and they've got a decent thickness of foam to bite into. I have previously had the uh, Volantex Raptor 2 metre version which is sort of the earlier model of this I suppose 
Uh, that was a nice plane to fly, but it was very prone to tip stalling. Uh, you really had to be careful in slow turns near the ground because you could just spiral it into the ground. I'm pretty sure you don't get those sorts of problems with this version at all. They really addressed that problem with the airfoil, with the wings, especially with the 1600mm uh, version. That just flies so beautifully. I'm expecting this one to be even better. Let's have a closer look at some of the accessories. Here's the motor mount. It's probably the one thing that could be improved, I think. I'm just a bit concerned about this little motor mount here. It's just reasonably thin plastic for a big, solid and reasonably heavy plane. I think I'd just prefer a bit more beef in that engine mount. It may be perfectly okay, um, but I'd, I'd be happier with a a thicker piece of plastic in there. Supplied prop is very nice actually. And I found on my 1600 millimeter version it was totally balanced. I didn't need to do anything. Eight by four inch it is. Use your little screwdriver, screws, push rods. The clevis connectors, uh, well they're adequate. Not too unhappy about them. They even give you little safety bands as well to stop them from popping apart. And the push rods are decent two millimeter. Uh, metal I think. Control horns, very impressed with these control horns. Good size, nice big base. They're fairly thin but um, they're appropriate for the application. They'll do the job. And we get uh, some servo Y leads as well uh, and some extension leads. All very good. That all went together very easily. Uh, you can put the decals on if you want to. I probably won't. I'd prefer to have my own colour scheme, but they do look quite good actually. It's a great looking plane, nice big two metre wingspan. It balances nicely with 3004S in the nose, even not even right up towards the nose, so I can use a lighter battery if I want to. All I have to do is wait for some decent weather and I'll take it out for a maiden. Thanks for watching.